Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Arizona Cardinals and the Tennessee Titans. With that, let's get you up to Nashville and Nissan Stadium for the call. We welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. I'm Brandon Gordon. He's Charles Davis. Full disclosure, we both have mittens. We both have coats on up here in the booth. This one, it's going to be interesting. I've got the long johns, the socks, the boots, you name it. You know me in cold weather. We don't get along all that well. But these games are always interesting because you never know how it's going to play out. One slip, someone's going for 80 yards, and you could lose a game. Ryan Suckup of the Titans has this one teed up, and we are underway from Nissan Stadium. On the return, this is Rashad Ross now. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the former Heisman Trophy winner and number one overall pick from Oklahoma, it's Sam Bradford. And when healthy, he's definitely flashed the arm talent that made the Rams take him at number one when he came out of Oklahoma. His calling card, accuracy. When you want to see someone put the ball where it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to be thrown, Sam Bradford's your guy. First carry now, this is Johnson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know, you know better than I, he has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run so the opening play of the drive goes backwards now they'll come up on second and 12. now a second down throw for bradford throwing over the middle but it's incomplete And let's look now at the offensive starters for the Cardinals. David Johnson's play has forced us to talk about him as one of the premier running backs in the NFL. Good size so he can run inside and break through some tackles. Also has excellent speed so he can get to the perimeter, turn the corner, and make it into a big game. But he also relies on the fact that he was a college wide receiver at one point, and they can utilize him both out of the backfield and in the slot back position in order to get downfield and catch the football. On third down, Bradford. Now a hit, and the ball comes out. Bradford's lost it. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be let out by their quarterback. Out of Oregon, it's Marcus Mariota. And do not be fooled by his demeanor. I know he's quiet and he's serene. He's an avid surfer. He's from Hawaii. But this guy wants to dominate you out in the football field and often does.
Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at the 20. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Now second and seven from the 23. Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota goes underneath for Henry. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. Last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. The pro bowler, Patrick Peterson, back deep for Arizona. Fielded at the 33. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but an end of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Bradford going to lead the Cardinals up now first and 10 at their own 43. Bradford now to throw on first down. Got a man open, it's Ricky Seals-Jones. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And that one results in 35 yards. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, Tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he showcases the spin, a pretty good gain before he's taken down. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. They'll run with a former Tar Heel, T.J. Logan. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. The 
They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. They'll try to throw now, Bradford. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target, and it's third down. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. relied on his eagle eye in the sky to make the right call and was told to challenge it and it looks like it's paid off and from a coach's standpoint when you throw that flag it's probably a pretty tense moment here it pays off yeah you have that little bit of indecision you throw it where you feel like you're right and then you think uh-oh did i get it right in this case they can celebrate you always worry about the plant foot in the snow but no problems there and it's now a seven nothing game Now after the made field goal, here's Dawson back out now to send this one away on the kickoff. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. Second and six, just inside the 30. On second down, here's Henry. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. 
Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is not a Not just a big, big man, big, a huge man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> So we played one quarter here on a Monday night. 7-0 is our score. We're back to Nashville right after this. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Going underneath for Lewis. It's a gain of five on the play. And just like that, it's third down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Throwing is Mariota. And that is incomplete. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Zone offense now as they get set to take over. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Start the drive on the ground with Johnson. Wesley Woodyard there on the tackle. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Second down, Bradford. Gets it to Bryce Butler, complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoyed the conversation post 
because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. First down, Bradford. And this one complete to Jermaine Gresham. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Encroachment, defense. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, Still first you down. are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And he jumped a little bit too early. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Working out of the gun, Bradford. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. From the gun, Bradford, pass incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets it down to the 32. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. On to try the field goal now, Phil Dawson. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. And the Titans getting set to go. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over, You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away. And they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. And wow, now we've got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something bods to be gained from it. After the missed kick, they're in really good position. They'll begin this drive at the 39 now. Now a play fake here on first down. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Marcus Golden in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. 
Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. From the gun, Mariota. His throw incomplete. Rashard Matthews, the intended target, and it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Titans on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 17. Mariota gives to Henry. And some room to run now. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. David Johnson. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so it'll surface tab what's coming into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. They begin the drive with Johnson. Showed some flash on the run, but he will be brought down shy of his 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. In search of something here after the sack. It's third and long. Bradford getting his guys ready. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Yeah, the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, they're on him too quickly back there, and it's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And the Titans are in for six. Touchdown. But they didn't have the normal cushion there in order to punt the ball away. At least a lot of anxiety for the team kicking the football. But for the punter, you know that you've got to get rid of that quickly there. Not quick enough. And also, not stepping behind you and stepping over the end line for a safety. That one gets blocked, and it's six points. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. First down. Looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, it's a cold night. And whether you're a quarterback that wears a glove on his throwing hand or not, that ball is a rock, Brandon. You've got to really drive it through the cold and the wind, or it can take off on you. And that may have been what happened there. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. They were forced to punt last time. Now, I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the interception here, Mariota and Matthews over the middle with the ground. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaud alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout and now we're set to get going. A 
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Mariota dumps it off to Lewis. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. First down now, but that clock rolling. First down, Mariota. Caught right side, it's Lewis. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they get the field goal here at the end of the second quarter and take the lead into the lockers. And isn't that what every team wants to do right at the end of the half? Put points on the board and go into the locker room feeling a lot better about themselves. Well, we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department. And he showcases it there all the way back for six. Suckup now set to kick it off following the main field goal. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and ten. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult and is not likely to get better anytime soon as we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. 
Out come the Titans now. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Mariota on first down. That is incomplete. He was looking for Matthews that time, and that'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Play action now, Mariota rolling to his left. Space to maneuver at the 40, and he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie, this one a bit less, but it is a first down. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right, his first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. On first and 10, here's Mariota. And Matthews has it right side. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Mariota hands to Henry. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. The Titans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Mariota now. And this is going to be incomplete. I can put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be just an 18-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. 
He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Now Bradford on second down. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third from the shotgun it's Bradford and that is incomplete and we're into the second half now and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive looks like they're just totally out of sync whether they're running the ball passing the ball like we saw there I don't know the rhythm seems off here's Andy Lee now remember though he did have one blocked earlier He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. A nice little juke. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return, and it'll be Titan football. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 21. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Henry. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. And we were down on the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. I yeah. mean, you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit, he is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring down. From their own 40 to the other 40. The gain of 20 leads to first and 10. They keep it with Henry on first down. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Crashing in from the end there, not to disrupt the pass game, but to disrupt the run game. Yeah, I love the distinction, too, because the good defensive ends, they can do it all. Set the edge in the run game, make sure that no one can move it that way, and, of course, rush the passer. On that play, use his speed to get there in the run game. Now it's a bootleg with Mariota. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore oh, first how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards.
So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. After the penalty, it's Henry. And not much running room, down to the 32. The tackle there by Patrick Peterson. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. Call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Titans on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and 14. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Bears this out for Matthews, and this will be caught. It's Matthews for the Tennessee touchdown. Richard Matthews, 37 yards, and the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Suck up for the extra point. Extra point put through by Suckup, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. That time, a six-play drive. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this oh, drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's something got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. On first and 10, Bradford. 
And Nelson's got him here right side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Bradford now to throw on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Jonathan Cyprian there defensively to make the play. When you can count on one hand the number of completions you've had in a game and we're in the second half, that tells you it's really not been your day. Yeah, but you're losing. You can't just abandon the passing game altogether. Yeah, maybe you can get hot, string a few together, and get rolling. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again, Bradford. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Bradford now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Again, it's Bradford. Let's it go for Nelson. Got a man. It's caught inside the ten. Illegal touching. Offense. So that one will be accepted. To the air again with Bradford. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The Cardinals on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. Bradford again. And this is going to be incomplete. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Going up top. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right, 
except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down with about 95% chance of oh, winning Oh, yeah, it. I'd say 95 or better. I And I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. And his throw here is incomplete. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Four down, four down. Check. Flip. Flag. In. Flag. In. Again to Henry. And a good burst there. Gets him seven up to midfield. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. The Titans on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Robert Kimdichie, the one to bring him down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. to Henry and the stop here will come at the 38 yard line so fresh out of the two minute warning and here's another timeout taken with 155 remaining and now following that timeout the defense back out onto the field So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. Ah. 
And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Suck up now, set to kick it off, following the made field goal. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened there. you think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Ready? Now a second down throw for Bradford toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The Cardinals on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. The play fake, Bradford. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. They'll throw again, Bradford. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. 23 yards on the play. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the red zone now, Bradford. And this is caught at the 8. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. From the gun, Bradford. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They go play action. Now Bradford. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jonathan Cyprian. And they'll have the football, but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Mark 
Marcus Mariota getting ready to go again here on offense. It's been a game where they have been more successful on the ground through the air. I, I don't think they're too worried about that. I don't think he's too worried about that. They've got a pretty comfortable lead here. And what a dynamic, fun game for the running attack. I mean, you talk about putting it all together. Offensive line has to feel great about their contribution. And the runner, oh, he feels really good about it. May have to field a few extra questions from the media <laughs> after this one. He won't mind that. Now we hit the home stretch here in the fourth. They begin with Henry, and he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. And now the Cardinals are going to use another timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. It's Henry, and he'll go down for a loss inside his own five at the four. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. The Titans on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and 11. On the counter, it's Henry. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open-air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid-game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because the element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere, and all of a sudden it just changes changes the course of things, but a big shout out to our crew to make sure that we were comfortable up here, as comfortable as one could be. In these elements, they took care of us and made sure we were dressed properly. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.